Um, we're at the Schoolinsis International Literary Festival, and we're talking to Seamus Murphy from Ireland. Um, you've just come out with a, a book recently called uh, the, the Republic, which celebrates photographs that have been taken um, it, as a, as a, a um, commem commemorative uh, um, uh, publication for, for, from the, the, the centenary from 1916. Um, it's a very detailed book with lots of photographs, and um, I'm just interested to know um, if you had been uh, taking photographs in 1916, would there be very much uh, different motives in, in the book uh, if that was the case? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I, I've, you know, who, who can say if I was around in 1916, I, you know, everything would be different, my clothes would be different, everything. So hard to say, really. But um, I mean, I, I wanted to look at modern Ireland. I wanted to look at what 100 years of independence uh, or, you know, from the date that most of us will, will recognize as being symbolic of the beginning of Irish independence, um, for the Republic anyway. So I wanted to look at what that country looked like 100 years on. What have we done, what have, what have we done with that independence? These people that fought in our name, some people argue that they shouldn't have, but, you know, you know what happened? And I, that's what I wanted to see. Um, a, a, a lot of uh, uh, public opinion has been uh, the, the kind of state that the, those people w wanted to create for the people that ostensibly live, live today. Um, it's uh, possibly uh, reasonable to say that it's not quite the state they envisage that we have today. Uh, do you think that's the case? I think it is the case, but I think, yeah, I mean, I very much think it's the case. And in fact, I included a picture of a guy who had fought against the British and it fought in the Civil War. He was a guy from Mayo mm. and he's dead now. I photographed him in the late 90s and he was 97 then. Mm. And he, you can be sure that he, he would not be, um, you know, he wasn't, in 97, he wasn't too happy about how things were. Mm. That was pre the crash and all that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm sure that he, there, there would be disappointment. But then again, you look at, you know, the Brits in the Second World War and they look at, Britain now, would they be happy? Of course they wouldn't be. So, you know, it's, it's a hard one, that. Yeah. It's always a generational shift that uh, takes place. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of people, a lot of faces in your book, The Republic. And uh, I noticed looking at it and comparing the book to other photographic uh, publications that have come out and that maybe, well, in my lifetime, at any rate, the last 30 years, come one say. And um, the, there's a there's a one trait that comes through I notice is the is the look of confidence especially among the young people they look very confident and I'm thinking if this book had have been published or if you taken the photographs 30 or 40 years ago it might not be the case do you think that's a possibility I think that's that's a fair point I mean I, there was a book done 50 years ago for the 1966 um, and it was a book on Dublin actually by a very famous art photographer called Evan Hoffer and the Forward was a fantastic forward by J.B. Priestley, mm. and it's a lot of portraits, mm. and um, they're lovely pictures. But mm. the people, they, there is, there is, a, there is a sort of wistfulness about them, mm. um, and maybe an innocence, which perhaps we don't have any, you know, as much mm. as, as 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 in those days. Um, but I, you know, I I think people are confident, but. Um, the young people are confident. Yeah, I think that's a, it's a fair point. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Because uh, there's another thing. Also, you refer to it in the text at the back of your book. Um, it's this uh, we have to mention. It's the church, mm -hmm. uh, the, <laughs> the power of the church in Ireland. And uh, I'm looking through your book. And I think there's possibly three photographs that have some sort of reference uh, to a church. Not yeah. the full yes. photograph, but parts of a church or something. Is this intentional, or is it just something that? is happening anyway now. You can't really avoid it, can you? I mean, um, you know, I went to a ploughing championship in Roscommon and uh, the priest was there on the back of a truck blessing it with, with holy water from Knock or Lourdes, whichever. Okay. You know, I mean, yes, that's a big reference to the church uh, and I liked the fact that it was sort of slightly comical and Father Teddish. Um, and then the other one was the, the three women in Knock uh, who weren't actually nuns, but they were sort of lay women who were helping the, 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 the people who had been... Um, uh, healed or hoping to be healed and the third one was a guy with a stiff leg wearing trainers in a church I think you know churches it's like pubs you know uh, is it a cliche to go to, to, to go to show the Irish in pubs well maybe it is but to have pictures of Ireland and not have pubs will be, will be missing the point too so yeah. you're always worried about cliches but at the same time cliches come from somewhere true yeah. and no. uh, you've got to work work with them well, I think I, I noticed often, uh, especially photographs from outside Ireland who aren't Irish, will often go for the traditional motives mm. of the pub, especially mm. the pub. Mm. But uh, you grew up in Ireland, mm. and you grew up in a time which was when it was changing and all mm. that. Mm. Um, 
if I can if I can ask you a comparison to <clears throat> places you normally work, like Syria and Afghanistan, yeah. war zones, places with conflict, yeah. um, was it not intimidating anyway to come back and photograph your own place? Yes, it was very intimidating. I mean, I I I, I thought I was going to be such an outsider, not having lived there for over thirty years, that it would be like you know doing an assignment or or going to places and sort of mm. you know worked in the way I normally would. Um, mm. It wasn't like that at all. It was it was like. I, I was very, still very close to the place, and you know, I mean, that that was also helpful because I could anticipate things. Oh, if I hang around this corner a little bit longer, I know what mm. could happen, and it, you know, yeah. and that was great. But um, I also felt that I was like that kid again, you know, that fourteen-year-old kid, a bit awkward, a bit subconscious, walking into a sweet shop, and here I am taking out a camera, like you know, you know, who's this bollocks sort of thing. I mean, and you felt that, whereas mm. I could do that somewhere else, and I'd brush it off, you know. Yeah. So there was a bit of that to it as well. It was yeah. it was a difficult it was a difficult book to do. Yeah. 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 No, and also, I was, I was very concerned about how Ireland would take this book. You know, I didn't want to be seen as, oh, here's this guy coming back and telling us what, what's what. <laughs> Actually, the response in Ireland has been very good. Yeah. Uh, people got it, and I'm really happy about that. That's the happiest I am about this book, actually, that, yeah. that people people accepted it. Well, it, it does. You, you have mature uh, mature photographs there. there, there it's, you have taken pictures of uh, s you know, a country that seems to be somewhat at ease with itself somehow. You found a... a uh, a niche a sort of area to yeah, portray people through somehow or other. So it's, it, it, I can see why it's a success in that respect. Um, you grew up in Ireland, as I said, but you were born in, in the United Kingdom. If I, that, that, that was something that a lot, of <laughs> a lot of people went through, being born in England in the yes. 60s, yes. the late 50s, and then growing up right. in Ireland, of, often with parents from the countryside yes. in Ireland. Yes. Um, and you've lived away for a, a long time now. How, how, how does the, the country look to you from the, the distance you have from it today? Uh, it looks different. And then at the, at the same time, it looks very, very similar. You know, um, uh, obviously, you know, there's a lot of diversity there now. When I grew up there, it was quite dull and, and, and we all looked the same. And, and, you know, we had the same kind of mm. backgrounds pretty much. Mm. I, yeah, I was born in Ireland. I, born in, sorry, my parents, we had six, six kids, they, you know, six of us. Yeah. And I was the youngest. And when I was six months old, they moved back. Yeah. So my eldest sister was 11 years older than me. So she was 11 when we moved back. Oh. And her story would be very different to mine because mm. she had a very English accent. Um, and she developed, you know, as an 11, to, uh, you know, 11 years. I was, it was all fresh yeah. to me. Uh, my mother was, um, my mother had been brought up in England, but she'd come from Irish parents. Um, so actually her view was always, always a bit of an outsider. She appreciated things and she would tell us things that she saw that I think other Irish people mightn't have seen, you know, going to the shop was something that, that, that amused her. Um, and she really appreciated that. And I think we all inherited that. Mm. Um, and I think that, you know, she would take things very humorously. And, 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 and you know, I think I ho was hoping I could capture that in the book as well. Mm. There's a lot of humor in Ireland. I mean, I know there's, there's, <laughs> but there's hard times, there's yeah. bad times, yeah. but there's always a chance to, to, to crack yeah. a joke about it, even if it is depressing at times, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think when you're traveling around as a photographer, you always get that chance. Eh? It's, it's, it's something it's you always get. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Okay, uh, Seamus Murphy, thanks for talking to us. Thanks for taking the time to talk to Thank us. Thank you very much. Thank you.